almost automatic CX excellence is getting everything in tune with what your customers would prefer as an offer. Is there actually a one-to-one -one ratio between that offer and what they got? Then you'll have minimal costs to serve, minimal churn, minimal remedies, escalations, and enticements, extra sales and marketing efforts to uh, make up for churn, things like that will be minimized. So shouldn't that be our vision? Somebody's handling customer inquiries. Somebody's handling uh, escalations or complaints or returns or refunds. Uh, somebody's handling um, setting the expectations for customers. So you have already a built-in customer experience management. Then secondly, you have operationalizing customer experience management. When you make it more of a way of life, more about the routines that happen in your company. Now, the third layer is aligning customer experience management to educate everybody about the gap. Where do we not have a one-to-one -one relationship between the expectations and the realities? Embedding customer experience management means that you are um, applying customer experience insights to all the rituals that you have in your company. Strategic planning, performance reviews, meeting agendas of all kinds. In fact, we did this in the first two years that I was the VOC manager at Applied Materials in the mid-1990s when we had to do all of these custom customized reports in Excel and PowerPoint ourselves uh, without, uh, without all the advantages that we have today. So if we could do it then, you can be pursuing aligning and embedding customer experience management in 2023.